Hello, class. Good morning. Hello. Good evening. Good morning. Good evening. Hi, I'm sorry. I, I, did you have problems today with Zoom? No. No. I could. Yes. yes, I have the problem. Yeah, me too. I, I couldn't log in. But anyways, we're logged in now. So, okay. how are you? Everything okay, teacher. Everything good? Yes, everything okay. Good. Everything good. Good, teacher. Good. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so remember the class yesterday? What did we do yesterday? Who remembers? Use two and four. Uh, we were talking about gerunds and, and, and in how uh, infinity and how to use four and how and when we are going to use two. Okay. So, um, can you give me an example with a gerund and then infinitive, or the infinitive and the gerund? For example, I like to drink coffee. What would be the gerund? I like. Uh, what is? I like for drinking coffee. Okay, but not for it. You just say, I like drinking coffee. I like drinking coffee. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, if you say, I like, I like to cook, what would it be the gerund, Samuel? Or Blanca? You me the dog, the dog, please. Would you mind? <laughs> That's when you say, Leah, would you mind? Would you mind? I, for example, I. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I said, um, well, okay. So, Camila. Hello. Hello. Oh. Yesterday, I, yesterday, I, I, I like, I turned off the, 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 the camera, and then I, I, I <laughs> slipped. <laughs> I fell yes. asleep. Yeah, and I was like, when, when I, today, I, I, I need to be ready for, for the, for the thing that, that I'm studying, like broadcast, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yes. And at 5 p.m., I at 5 a.m. because I, I I have to be ready to wait. But not, uh, today I, I like I is I wake up at 7 a.m. and 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 I went um, uh, late to the to the thing. I don't know what happened with me yesterday. It's all right. It's it's okay. It happens. <laughs> it happens. Don't worry about it. But you slept a lot. Yeah. <laughs> do Do you get scared when you sleep a lot? Like you wake up like. Oh. Yeah. 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 Yesterday. No. No. Today. I. 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 I thought that it, like it was like weekend. But no. I remember one time, one time I woke up late, like, oh my God, it's seven. And I go in at, at seven. And I remember I took a shower real, real quick and, and, and I was going to work. And they said, why is there no traffic? <laughs> and I was happy. I'm like, good, there's no traffic. But really, it was empty, empty. And then you I were, realized it was you Sunday. You were so scared. <laughs> yeah, and it was Sunday. And I said, oh my God, it's Sunday. I don't work today. 
<laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> that was sad, but the embarrassing part was returning to my house and my mother, what happened? Nothing. <laughs> you forgot that that it was it, it was the day off. Yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm going to share my screen with you. Tell me if you can see it, please. Okay. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Nice. Okay, we have satellites. Mr. Edwin Ayala, can you do number one, please? So do this. Satellites are used, and then give me the, read the three options, and then you tell me which is the best option. Okay, satellites are used to study the world's weather, to study in the world's weather, uh, for to study the world's weather. Uh, I think is the, the correct option is to study the world's weather. The world's weather. The world's weather, yes, the first one. Very good. Thank you. Is it gonna say four? The satellites are used for? For studying. Yeah, it would be the German, for studying. For studying, yes. Okay, very good, very good. Thank you. Uh, can you pick somebody, please, so somebody can do number two? Of course. Uh, let me see. Uh, Sandra Corina. Okay, Sandra. Yes. Okay. okay. Number two, uh, Robert are some in use it to for, uh, for, for, for perform danger tight to perform dangerous tasks or perform dangerous tasks? Uh, answer is for perform dangerous tasks. Number fish. This one? Yeah. Oh. Okay, okay, let's see. Um, Oh, Sandra. It, it, excuse me, El Gerundio is it, it, three, answer three for for me. Very good. For, 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 yes. Okay, Sandra, repeat after me. Dangerous. Dang. Dangerous. Say it in three parts. Dangerous. Dangerous. All right, very good. That's three parts. Now say it in two. Dang. Yes. Dangerous. Dangerous. Now say it in one. Dangerous. Dangerous. There you go. Very good. Dangerous. Dangerous. All right. Dangerous. Very good. Sandra, can you pick somebody, please? Um. Mm, excuse me. Uh, Blanca. Okay. Okay. Number three. Yes. Let me. You can use a cell phone. Is sending text messages. To send text message. Send text message. Um, it's it is correct. Send send text messages. No, I think the correct is to send text messages. Okay. You can use a cell phone sending text messages. Can you repeat messages? Messages. Messages. Uh, well, actually, no, messages. Messages. Okay. Good. But Blanca, no me diga la X. Solo ese. Messages. Messages. Yes. Messages. Messages. There you go. Very good. Messages. Okay, very good. Messages. Now, faster. Messages. Messages. Exactly. So, you can use a cell phone sending messages to send text messages or send text messages. What is the correct one, Blanca? Send 
text messages. Okay, this is the correct one for you. Yes. Okay. No problem. But remember, you need an infinitive. It's actually this one. Um, to send text to messages. To send text messages. Yes, you can okay. use a cell phone to send text messages, to go into the internet, to call somebody, to, okay. to take a picture. To take a picture of this. Okay, very good. Blanca, can you pick somebody, please? Hey, Luis. Number four, right? People use the internet. The internet. Oh, number one for for uh, for making travel reservation. Number two for make travel reservations, and three making travel reservation. Uh, for me, the number one making travel reservation. Yes. Okay. Very good. For make. Excellent. Can you pick somebody, Luis? Okay. Um. Let me check the oh, the people. Okay. Uh, Melvin. Number five. DNA fingerprinting is used to identify criminals. Um. Number one, picture. But can you read the three, please? Oh, okay. To identify criminals, for identify criminals, to identify criminals. <coughs> to me, it's, it's number one. Okay. Choose somebody, please. Oh. Um, Sophia. Sophia Escobar. Okay. Um, can you hear me? Yes. yes. Ah, okay. CD ROMs are used storing an encyclopedia for stores an encyclopedia for storing an encyclopedia. Mm, the last one for storing an encyclopedia. Sophia, do you know what a CD-ROM is? Um, yes. <laughs> okay. I don't think your, your generation still knew what a CD-ROM is. No, me too. Okay. Como decir, my generation, remember the floppy disk? <laughs> okay, very good. Oh, man, I didn't submit. But they were correct. <laughs> okay, here in the next lesson, 2.3, it says participants will notice and practice stress in words with more than two syllables. Ouch. Syllable stress. Do you know what syllables are? Yeah. Yeah. Camila, how many syllables in your name? Three. Three. Three, right? Y yeah. contando. Yeah, or you can just clap, you know, Camila. Three syllables. Okay. Camila. That's a good way to remember, you know, the syllables. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, Intelligent has intelligent, four syllables. No confundan con las vocales, the syllables son las, the syllables. Okay, that's what we're gonna do today, watch. Okay, um, can you hear the audio? Part A. Can you hear? Listen and practice. Yes. yes. Which syllable has the main stress? Satellite. Internet. Photograph. Invention. 
Assignment. Computer. CD-ROM. Engineer. Entertain. Where is the stress in these words? Can you pronounce them? Very good. Can you repeat with me? Languages, telephone, transmission, robotics, understand, VCR. This is the closest you can imagine to tildes in Spanish. Okay, but remember in English, tildes do not exist. So the closest is se llama stress. Solo se le pone un poquito más de énfasis a eso. For example, languages. You know, languages. You don't say languages. 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 Telephone. Telephone. Mm -hmm. uh, Transmission. Transmission. Mm -hmm. Because si le damos el énfasis a la T, transmission. Um, transmission. Yeah. Transmission. Yeah. Next we have robotics. Or robotics. Robotics. Mm -hmm. Understand. 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 And VCR. So VCR. Um, so that is um that those are called stress. That's where the stress goes. Okay. So let's do the exercise. Oh, can I borrow your cell phone? Guess borrow, remember class? <laughs> yes, I remember. Ask for something. So she will receive or she will give the cell phone. Give me your phone. Yes. Okay, let's listen to this audio now, to the video. Hi again, listen to the audio program. Please pay attention because at the end of the conversation, I will ask you some questions. Get ready. Listen and practice. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on. And don't forget to dial the area code. Okay, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh good, it's ringing. Try not to get too excited. You'll probably get his voicemail. Hi, this is Joe Jones. You're right. It's a recording. Sorry, check your call right Make now. sure to hit the end button or else you'll leave our conversation on his voicemail. Ready? Who owns the phone? Who are they calling? What's the first thing to do? What should the woman press? If you're not sure about the answers, you may listen to the audio program as many times as you need to. Good luck. Okay, um, does she have a cell phone? No. No, no. no she doesn't. No. no, she doesn't. Okay. Um, what does she need to do first? Write the area numbers. The area code. The area code, sorry. No, it's okay. And that's kind of difficult because in El Salvador, area codes do not exist. Okay, listen to this. It says in 2.7, it says lesson objective. At the end of this lesson, you will understand how to use the imperatives and the infinitives for giving suggestions. Okay. Let's look at the video for imperatives and infinitives. 
Hello everyone! Before you watch the video, I want to remind you that imperatives are commands and they don't need a subject. Also, for giving suggestions, we will use an imperative as well as an infinitive. Stay around for more explanation. Imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. Be sure to turn it on. Don't forget to dial the area code. Make sure to hit the end button. Remember to pay the bill every month. Try not to talk for too long. This is how we use imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. When using an imperative, the subject is never mentioned and they always begin with a verb. And as said on the previous explanation, the infinitive is to plus a verb. Now let's think about a situation. These two kids are new to their English class and they say, we don't understand English. So let's give them a suggestion. We can say, study your verbs. But this sounds more like an instruction. So to make it a bit more polite and to actually sound like a suggestion, we may add, make sure to study your verbs. Check at the beginning we have no subject and then a verb, which means it's an imperative. Make sure. Moving forward to our infinitive to study. So when we put an imperative with an infinitive together, we can come up with a great suggestion. We will leave you now with some common expressions we use as imperatives to give suggestions. Be sure, make sure, don't forget, remember, try. Let's make examples using these expressions. Be sure to practice with your friends. Make sure to use a dictionary. Don't forget to think in English. Remember to do your English homework. Try to pronounce properly. Now read these suggestions. Be sure to speak in your native language. Make sure to forget your dictionary. Don't forget to stay quiet in class. Remember to translate into your native language. Try to mispronounce the words. You will agree with me that they are not good suggestions to give an English student. Therefore, we need to add the word not to make them positive suggestions. So the word not will go between the imperative and the infinitive. Now it is your turn. Ready to come up with examples of your own? Try it and write them on our discussion box. Sure. Moving forward to our infinitive to study. So we will leave you now. Sure. Don't forget. Remember. Okay. Um, what is an imperative? Class? When you put another verb to make a, a suggestion or sounds more polite. Okay, Melvin, that's, that's, that's good. Samuel, what is an imperative? Okay, uh, Beatriz, where, what is an imperative? An imperative, uh, uh, ah, perdón, seguí. No, no, no. Okay. It's like a suggestion, but with, no sé cómo decir, como mandato. Okay. Um. Uh, I think is when, uh, basically, when they when they tell people what to do. Okay, that's that's one, Edwin. Listen to this. This is an imperative. Mm -hmm. Really, it's, it's nothing really confusing. Listen mm -hmm. to my question. Listen to my example. Okay. Edwin, mm -hmm. Edwin, you remember to wake up early tomorrow. I have to wake up early tomorrow. Okay. So mm -hmm. if you notice, I mentioned two, <laughs> the subject two times. I mentioned Edwin and I mentioned mm -hmm. you. Mm, and then true. I went with the verb. Wake up. So I said, Edwin, you remember to wake up early tomorrow. An imperative, I don't mention mm -hmm. you or Edwin. I just say it in general. Okay, class, goodbye. Remember to wake up early tomorrow. 
So I don't oh. mention the subject and I start, I start with the verb. Don't forget, we'll have yes. class tomorrow. Don't forget we have class tomorrow. Very good, Luis, thank you. That's an imperative. When you don't mention the subject, you start immediately with the verb. Okay. Okay. And the difference between instructions and suggestions are this. Class, um, study for the exam tomorrow. ¿A qué sonó eso? ¿A instrucción o a una sugerencia? Order. Yeah, it sounded like an instruction, right? Mm -hmm. Entonces, si lo queremos hacer más como sugerencia, usamos be sure, make sure, don't forget, remember. <laughs> be sure y make sure es lo mismo, asegúrense. Vaya, hoy si yo les digo, clase estudian para la clase mañana. Para el examen mañana se oye más a orden. Ajá. Pero si yo les digo, clase, okay. asegúrense de estudiar mañana para el examen, ya se oye más como una sugerencia. Right? So in this case, if I say Edwin, um, or, or I, I said in general, class, wake up early tomorrow. Class, study for the exam tomorrow. Okay, in this case, se oye a una orden, like an order, a command. Pero para hacer la suggestion, class, be sure to study for the exam tomorrow. Class, don't forget to study for the exam tomorrow. Class, remember to study for the class tomorrow. Class, try to study for the exam tomorrow. Those are suggestions. And that is an imperative with an infinitive. Okay, um, let me give an example. Melvin. Yes. Oh. Melvin, tomorrow I will go I will go to downtown El Salvador. Okay, make sure to, to bring your documents. Okay, very good. Make sure to bring or to take your documents. Very good. Okay. Um, Edwin. Mm -hmm. Today after class, I am going to go in my car to a bar and I am going to drink a lot. <laughs> Example, okay? Because yes. obviously you're going to give me a suggestion. You, sh you shouldn't don't drive if you get drunk. <laughs> no, but give me a suggestion. Remember, an imperative. Um, oh my God, I don't know. Justin, um, I don't know, teacher. Okay. Can someone help me? Can someone help him? Um, I don't know. Don't forget your money, <laughs> your wallet. Try to don't get drunk or something. Wait, wait, wait. Who, who told me that? I... Was that you, Luis? Huh? Imagine. Mm -hmm. so don't forget your money. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> really? To pay the waiter. <laughs> oh my god, I am saying I am saying that today after class I'm going to take my car and go to a bar and get very drunk. Oh, let me go with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. And your suggestion is don't forget your wallet. Oh my god, what a good friend you are. <laughs> Maybe remember a uh, Call a uh, taxi. Very good. Remember mm -hmm. to call a taxi. Very good. Remember to call. That's a su suggestions. Yeah. Remember or, to call a. And Uber. make sure. Make sure. No. 
Make you can sure say you, you can say be sure, make sure, don't forget, remember, try to. Try right to drain soft, soft drain. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. <laughs> try to drink. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can say a. Be sure to. To have a designated driver. Be sure to call an Uber. Don't forget to, don't forget to call your father, wife, or somebody to pick you up. Well, there are many situations. Uh, let me see. ¿Quién ha ido a sacar la, cómo se llama lo de humo de los carros? Experticia. Oh, experticia. Here's a recommendation. If you go to Experticia, Experticia, be sure to go in jeans. Okay. Why? Because Why? those idiots, stupid idiots, <laughs> if you go in shorts, they don't let you in. Oh, okay. I don't oh, know why. <laughs> Imagine how stupid. No, en shorts no puedes entrar. Maybe really? I... I I know the solvencia la policía nacional in this too. <laughs> oh yeah, solvencia uh -huh. too. Yeah, around the policía nacional, they are a lot of business. You can rent a pants. <laughs> oh, are you serious? Yeah. Are you sure damn? I, I, I <laughs> yeah. don't even know that. <laughs> Hey, that's a good business. <laughs> yes. Hey, we rent pants. Me, can, you, can you rent me a pants, please? I want a, a blue pants. <laughs> hey, that's it. Un Pierre Cardin, por favor. <laughs> Do you have it in blue? No. <clears throat> oh, wow. I didn't know that. So, class, be sure to take a, to go in pants and not in shorts. Sure. To experticia or solvencia de la PNC. All right. Let me see who can help me here. Sofia. Yes. Hello, Sofia. Hi. Hi. <laughs> you live in Santa Ana, right? Yes. I am an Aguila fan. And uh, I am going to go to Santa Ana to watch Aguila Faz to the stadium. What mm -hmm. are your suggestions? Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know too much about that. <laughs> Maybe um, try, I don't know. <laughs> okay, you can say, be, uh, try to stay with, with the orange people <laughs> or try not to use orange in Santa Ana because they will kill you. Uh, really? <laughs> yeah, it's the stupid soccer, no, you know, their, their rivality. Okay. Because FAS is red and um, Aguila is orange. Me, I think you just gave me a suggestion for me. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I That happened to me once. I went to uh, Santa Ana and I had an Aguila shirt to Metro Centro and it was not a good idea. Really? Mm, yeah. People <laughs> were happened? not friendly. <laughs> you know, take the shirt off. Ah. Okay. Uh, Blanca. Blanca, Sunday I am going to go to church. What do you recommend? I'm sorry, what do you suggest? It makes make sure 
eh, vis, eh, me, make sure we see the device eh, in the in the Sunday. No, no, okay, listen to my example. Sunday, I am going to go to church. Mm. What do you suggest? Mm. I don't know. This my, is my problem my, in church. Look, my problem in church is this. Be sure to visit Capiro. Uh, make, make sure. Um, make sure. Um, this is me in church. The... Is a uh, I sleep? Teacher? Be sure, be sure to sleep or be sure not to sleep. Oh, uh, this is not sleep. This it. This thing. Not okay. Sleep. Yo le estoy diciendo, mire, el, el domingo yo voy a ir a la iglesia. Y usted uh, va a decir. Hey, asegúrate de no dormirte. Oh, I... uh, make, make sure, eh, no, eh, make sure, eh, no sleep. Not in to the, sleep. In that. Okay, please hold on. Eh, in the church. Okay, no necesita mencionar church porque ya se la mencioné yo, pero si ah, quieres. Ah, okay. okay, make sure, uh -huh. eh, did not sleep. Okay, very good, exactly. Make sure not to sleep. Make sure that's sleep, not make sleep. Make sure not to sleep. May, make sure not sleep. Okay, lo único blanca que aquí lo que estamos practicando muy fuertemente es el infinito, que es to, el, el, el infinito. Ah, okay. To sleep, to go, to okay, eat. Okay, make sure to sleep. No, to uh, make sure uh, that not okay. mm -hmm. sleep. Okay, very good. Yes, make sure not to sleep. Eso me recomendaban siempre because when I when I go to church, I always sleep. Teacher, I watch. I uh, I. Uh, watch uh, the the video uh, Dora. Make yes. sure your recommendation. And what happened? It's good. Yes. You watch it in English. Yeah, it's good. Very good. Yes. Good for you, Blanca. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let me see who else is here. Leah, I haven't heard from you today. Hello, here I am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, there's Leah. Hi, Leah. Hi, Fai, I think. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Um, I hope you sorry. Mm -hmm. No, no, it's okay. Let me see. Leah. Um... I imagine, okay. I don't know if I want to get a divorce. Mm. Okay. But imagine, okay, because yes, <laughs> I, yes, I am very yes. happy and I love my wife very much. This is an example. <laughs> what do you suggest? Your example are very radicales radicales Radical. no fíjese es que le voy a decir una cosa yo he aprendido que en los en las cosas radicales uh -huh. es cuando sale más vocabulario como o pone a alguien más en que pensar like ah uh -huh, remember uh -huh. okay I think that uh, you uh, you don't need divorce but be sure that if you make make sure to make sure to um, uh, 
Okay, after that, seguro. I need a verb. Make mm -hmm. sure. <laughs> Chu es seguro. Sure. Make sure to. You are positive, you are sure. Uh, sure, I don't know about. Make sure to, el que no sé qué decirle, asegurarse de que. No, ya, vio no como, ya, vio, ya vio cómo está craneando ahí lo que me quiere decir. Por eso es que uso a veces ejemplos radicales. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Make sure to... Eh, Talk with your no loading. wife. Okay. Your wife. Okay, good. Yeah, that's one example. Make sure... Make sure make, to... Lo, no loading, not loading more your wife. Make sure your that wife, you don't love your, your wife. wife. Mm -hmm. Your wife. Or uh, make sure to talk to your wife first. Make sure make, to talking with her yeah. for taking a decision in Cuba. Okay. Or make sure to think about all the consequences. Very hard for you and yes. your son. Yes. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Of course, I, I hope I, I will never divorce my wife. <laughs> Why? Wife? My wife. No, she's sleeping now. <laughs> ah, okay. I understand now. Ah. Okay, good. Pero vaya, por ejemplo, yo en alguien, alguien le, 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 le diría eso. Asegúrate que ya pensaste todas las consecuencias después de eso. <clears throat> yeah. Be sure to think about all the consequences. Yo diría, asegúrate de que ya no la amas o ya no lo amas. Entonces, uh -huh. okay. toma una decisión. Ok. Pero no supe cómo decírselo. <laughs> es que eh, eh, ahí se va a sonar porque asegúrate es be sure. Ajá, que eso Entonces, decir be sure. Asegúrate de estar seguro. <laughs> asegúrate, <laughs> asegúrate. <laughs> De, be, uh -huh. be sure to be sure. Be sure to make sure. To be sure. Yeah. Uh, uh, be sure to be sure. Uh, or, yeah, be sure to be sure. Make sure to be sure that you don't that, love her. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, yeah. So that's how you use it. Be sure, make sure. Don't forget, remember, try. Sandra, ¿qué le dice usted a su hija todos los días antes que se vaya ella de la casa? What do you tell your daughter? Okay. Um, make sure to clean in the house. <laughs> okay, okay. Make sure to clean the house. <laughs> I imagine like, hey baby, make sure to call me. <laughs> <laughs> make sure to call me. Okay, make sure to clean the house. Okay, good. All right. So that's how you, that's that's um let me see. Uh where are you? Where are you? There. Try. Oh, uh, let me see. So So Camila, can you please explain to me what is an imperative? An imperative is something that you you must do that in English or in Spanish, I don't know. Okay, good. Como yeah. mandato. Yes. But mandato, but you don't pero must yeah, muy demasiado como obligation. Es una recommendation. Es, yes, es, ah, como que lo tenés que hacer. Es una orden o una no, instrucción, no, no. pero más que todo no usamos subject. Ok. Entonces no voy a decir, Camila, you study tonight. I just say, mm -hmm. Camila, study, study tonight. tonight. Mm -hmm. Ok. Y si lo quiero hacer, su, su, ¿cómo es? sugerencia, ahí pongo, be sure, remember, or try. But we didn't use to. Yes. We, we used to. Yes. Be sure to study 
for the exam. Try to study for the exam. Uh, like, in esta, be sure practice with your friends or to practice? No, be sure to practice. Okay. Siempre hay to, es el infinito, lo que estamos haciendo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Si yo digo, Camila, practice with your friends. It's an instruction. Okay. But if I say, Camila, try to practice with your friends. It's a suggestion. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, class, do you have questions? Nope. Nope. All right, let's go to the next one. Knowledge check. Instructions. It says, read these suggestions. Which one refers to an alarm system, a cell phone, a laptop, computer? Choose among those. Okay, so then the options we have is a laptop computer, a cell phone, and an alarm system. Irene, can you read number one, please? Yes. Try to keep close to protect the screen. I think it's laptop computer. I'm sorry, can you, can you repeat number one again, please? Okay, try to keep it closer to protect the screen. Okay. I think it's laptop computer. Okay, so try to keep it closed to protect the screen. All right, Irene, can you choose somebody to do number two, please? Marlon. Hola, hola, me escucharon. Someone else. Hola, me escuchan. Yes, Irene, but uh, pick someone else, please. Ah, uh, Marlon. Marlon is not answering. Pick somebody else. Or Melvin. Okay, okay, number two. Um, don't forget to write down your secret code. Al alarm system. Alarm system. Wait, I'm sorry. Number. No se se me congeló. Okay, we're number two, right? Yes. Okay. Who who is talking, Leah? No. Me. Marlon. Oh, okay, Marlon, you're back. Okay, so number two, please. Okay, Melvin or Marlon? Melvin was talking. Okay, Melvin, thank you. I'm sorry. Go ahead. So number two. Number two, don't forget to write down your secret code. Um, alarms, alarm system. Good. You know, to be honest, the three are correct. <laughs> yes. So. Alarm system, yeah. porque it's secret code. Yeah. But also you can have a secret code in your cell phone and your laptop. But okay, it's alarm system. It's more logical. Okay, Melvin, can you choose somebody, please? Um, yes, uh, Luis. Okay, okay. Uh, number three, remember to turn off as soon as you come in the door. Uh, please. Uh, uh, okay. Number one. Uh, alarm system. Okay, good. For me, that one's tricky because it can be a cell phone or alarm system, but. Okay. Thank you, Luis. Can you choose somebody, please? 
Okay, uh, Sandra, Corina. Number four. Number four. Why not to get the square of the team may get through? I'm sorry, Sandra, we have a bad, bad connection because I hear water. It's a uh, rainy. Oh, really? It's raining? Yes. Oh, how nice. Where do you live? I live in Oh, I hope it rains here then. Okay, um, I'm sorry. Can, can you repeat again, please? Uh, number four, try not to get. Uh, try not to get where or the field where you get the food. Laptop. Okay, but look, do you know? You know what this is? You know what this is? Keyboard, good. Keyboard. These are keys. Okay, good. Thank you. Yes, try not to get it wet or the keys may get stuck. No, try not to get it wet or ya no va a servir. If you get a laptop wet, bye bye. Okay, let me see. Beatriz, are you there? Yes. Can you do number five, please? Yes. Number five, make sure to set it each time you leave home. Uh, I think it's an uh, alarm system. Yes. Remember, every time you leave, you leave home, put the alarm system. Okay, mm -hmm. Beatrice, can you choose somebody, please, for number six? Yes. Uh, Camila? DJ Pilla. Okay, okay. Remember, <laughs> I remember to, perdón, remember to recharge, 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 yeah. perdón otra vez. Remember okay. to recharge the, ba the batteries before they die. Um, cualquiera podría hacer, no. Cell phone, laptop. Yeah. Cell phone. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's okay. Let's say cell phone, but look, this says they. Yeah. So, yeah, the three are correct. But let's say cell phone. Okay. All right. And who's going to be the last person? Mila, can you, uh, Camila, can you change? Can you yeah. choose somebody? Gabriela Martinez. Gabriela Martinez. Oh, ya pasó. Be sure to oh, turn. Okay. To turn it off before bed or a call may wake may wake you up. Okay. Um cell phone. Cell phone. Yeah, this is not optional. This is cell phone, definitely. But it is a call. Mm -hmm. Let's submit. All right, they're all good. Aunque, como le repito, en unos, más de una puede haber estado buena. All right, let's do the next step. Okay, look, in this class, you will read an article about technology in the future. Develop skills in identifying paragraph topics and reading 
for specific information. Okay, so we're gonna have a reading about the future, about our technology. It se llama a day in your life. So let me see how many paragraphs we have here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven paragraphs. Okay, uh, la primera persona que me aparece a mí es Melvin. Melvin, can you read it please? And the first paragraph? Sure. Oh, I'm sorry, Be before we do that, class, uh, please look, it says here, scan the article, then add the correct heading to each paragraph. Communicating, shopping, relaxing, eating, getting around, and working. So once again, look, we have two, four, six, seven paragraphs. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six options. Okay, so let's start right now, Melvin, please. People used to know more or less how their children will live. Now things are changing so quickly that we don't even know what our own lives will be like in a few years. What follows is how experts see the future. Okay. Do you have any questions that may be a word that you don't understand in this? No? Okay, Melvin, choose the next person, please. Um. Let me see, teacher. Um, Irene Ruiz. Hi. Okay. Your daydream behind the wall of your car, but that's okay. You have it on automatic pilot. And with its high tech computers, you can know how to get you home safely. Okay, do you know what is daydreaming? It's like, uh, no, I don't know. Do you remember, do you remember school? Yes. Do you remember this? Oh yeah, yeah. It's like. And people go, people go like, hey, hello, what, what? <laughs> You're dreaming? but not sleeping, say I'm a daydreaming. You're dreaming with oh, your okay. eyes open. Okay. <laughs> Pero creo que nosotros lo hacemos andar en la nube o no. ¿Cómo, cómo sería esa expresión para, en español? Mm. Como se anda ido. Ah, ido. Uh -huh. ah, ido, yes. <laughs> Hey, te estoy hablando, te, uh, te ves todo oído, like, hey, I'm talking to you, are you daydreaming? I used to have that problem in school, I was daydreaming, like. <laughs> but I was thinking of something else. So imagine you're daydreaming behind the wheel, that's very, very dangerous. So you're daydreaming when you're driving. Wheel, así se le dice al timón, the wheel. Okay. All right. Okay, um, let me see. Do you have any questions here? You're daydreaming behind the wheel of your car, but that's okay. You have it on, you have it on automatic pilot. And this with high tech computers, you can, your car, knows how to get you home safely. Y existen esos. Yes, Tesla. Yes. The Tesla. But can you imagine one of those cars in El Salvador? No. 
la sexta décima. What? Yes. Okay, next it says, you head for the kitchen when you get home. You order groceries by computer an hour ago, and they've been delivered. You paid for them before they arrived. The money was automatically deducted from your bank account. Nobody uses cash anymore. Esto te, oh, I'm sorry. El primer párrafo tiene que ver con what? Communicating, shopping, relaxing, eating, or getting around? Getting around. Getting around. Entonces el tema de technology there is getting around. So in the future or now, you can get around with automatic pilots. So the second part, seven kids, you had four. No. Yeah, eso puede ser confuso como, yo sé que se están imaginando jedes cabeza. Se acuerdan cuando les dije los verbos fraseales, aquí hay un verbo fraseal, miren, head for. Head for es ir a. Entonces, you head for the kitchen, vas a la, a la cocina, when you get home, cuando llegas a la casa, right? You head for the kitchen when you get home. You order the groceries by computer one hour ago. They've been delivered. You paid for them before they arrived. The money was automatically deducted from your bank account. Nobody uses cash anymore. What is that? Shopping. Shopping. Eso ya de poco a poco ya está entrando más fuerte en El, en el Salvador. E-commerce, no. The shopping, the mm -hmm. pagar en línea. E-commerce. Mm -hmm. e Look at the title of this book, Teacher 2020. 2020, yes. Yeah, okay. The, this book is older. It's old, pero acertaron. Yes, of course. <laughs> Look at Yeah. Do you know why? Do you know why? Wow, well, nobody uses cash anymore. Do you know why? Yes. Why? Because that way companies don't pay employees. Only put the number in your account. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so it's a way for companies to reduce because staff. Financial cost. Yes. Ya han visto ofertas en Facebook que solo es en línea. Pollo Campero, 10 piezas por 6 dólares, mm -hmm. pero solo en línea. Quieren mm -hmm. implementar eso de pagar en línea, en línea, en línea, para que ya no paguen empleados. Yeah. Oh, God. Los ricos, ¿verdad? Pandemic. Yes. Yeah, this is the mission of pandemic, introduce the technology. Yes. That's why now everything, everything is, is online with credit. Um, okay, class, look, we will continue tomorrow, okay? Okay, sure, thank you. Hey, now it's raining in my house. Nice. Okay. See you. My house have a, too. Have a very, very good night. Thank you, you too. Thank I'll you see you tomorrow. Good. Thank Bye. you. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye.